Good morning. Good morning. Home. Everyone has a place they call home. A place they grew up in. A place with memories and a place they can call their own. Home is a bit more diff a bit more complicated for me, however. Having lived in nine houses in two different countries, I never had a definite place to call home. For me, home is something different. It is not a house, not a childhood cul-de-sac, or a park. Home is the 12 blocks that span from front to 13th and South Street. No, I did not literally live on the streets. <laughs> South Street was like a home to me. It's been one of the few places that have stayed as a constant in my life throughout all the moving. I've learned more from walking on South Street than I have in any class, in any school, in any country. Walking these city streets has made me into the person I am today. On South Street, I had my first cheesesteak, went on my first date, got my first crazy homeless lady kiss, and met the legendary Norm, the infamous Flavor Flav impersonating Bike Thief. But of all the things and people I've experienced on South Street, the most important thing I've learned was how to be truly happy. In my case, happiness came from an unusual source, Pokemon cards, the root of any good childhood. As an obsessive eight-year-old Pokemon fan, there is nothing more satisfying than hearing the crinkle and tear of a pack of Pokemon cards and the thrill of seeing the new Pokemon. As a kid, the highlight, the highlight of my week, every week, was the weekend walk I, I made with my father to showcase comics, my local Pokemon dispensary on South Street, a whopping eight-block walk. Most Saturdays, I harassed my dad until Lisa came to the puppy dog base and decided that we could go. One particular Saturday, it was sunny, really sunny, but I didn't care. I walked with one hand over my forehead and the other in my dad's hand. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh street. Blowing past every street determined, I was feeling a Charizard. Eighth, ninth, we stop. My dad turns and crosses the street to the other side of South Street did not showcase comics up South Street. I was perplexed. I tried to think of a reason why we had just jaywalked to the wrong side of the road, less than two blocks from the store. I stopped, looked up at my dad, and asked in my childhood British accent, Dad, why'd we cross over? <laughs> he paused, looked down to me with a, a smile, and replied, because it's the sunny side of the street. I was disappointed with this answer at the time. I was a chubby eight-year-old and adding more walking seemed pointless. <laughs> it wasn't until recently, when I recalled this day, that I saw the true beauty and simplicity of what my dad had said and done. I had an epiphany. I realized the real worth of those Saturday trips. They were never about the 10 seconds of suspense and euphoria I felt when opening and looking at the cards. It was more than that. It was about the 10 minute walk, me and my dad's conversations, the hand squeezes, and the secret smiles we exchanged. The journey was so much more important than the destination. I was just too young and naive to see that at the time. And because of it, I didn't enjoy the trips as much as my dad did. I've learned from that day, and I'm still impacted by the trip as I'm now months away from arriving at a new destination, university. Unlike the lightheartedness of my childhood Saturday travels, this journey at times is stressful and unrewarding. I treat each college letter like it's a new booster pack of Pokemon cards. Before I open the letter, I think back to that day. I think of my father, and I think of the sunshine. Then I think of the past four years, all the people I've met, the friends I've made, and the great times I've had. And at that moment, I realize how ultimately that means so much more to me than whatever words are printed on this letter in my hands. Enjoy your time here, as much as you can. Take pride in the work you do, but more importantly, have fun. Play, smile, laugh, make memories. I don't remember what cards I got on that particular Saturday, and 20 years from now, I probably won't remember what colleges I was accepted or denied from. What I will remember is all of you, the people who made my journey easier and more enjoyable. I'll remember the freeze with friends, the crazy classes, and the epic blue and blue days. I don't know where I'm going to college next year, and that scares me. But I know when I get there, I'll be smiling because I took the sunny side of the street. Thank you.